It's morning and we slept the night away. <laughs> Good morning, bookies. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning. And um I wanted to give y'all my little testimony real quick. Um, because a lot of people don't know that this was going on last year and yesterday I realized that it had been a full year that this had taken place um on this day last year I was fighting for my sanity um I last year left dinner for my nephew's birthday left dinner for my nephew's birthday and went and hung out with a friend and I ended up in the hospital fighting for my sanity. Um, I had a mental break that had me um, thinking that it was my time to go, thinking that it was, I was done. I was out of here. I was over. Like, death was coming for me. Okay? Death was coming for me, y'all. And I literally was losing my mind on this day last year. Um, I was in the hospital with... And I'm not even going to say losing my mind. I probably found my mind on that day um but years and years of grief on top of years and years of struggle on top of years and years of not paying attention to my grief and my habits and things that I was doing at that point in time led me to a break um Led me to a different kind of break. Led me to a different place in my life where I was literally trying to understand who I was. Literally trying to understand um, where my mind was and what was going on in my head. I was having premonitions and seeing things beyond this realm. And... It was scary because I didn't understand it. It was scary because of how it impacted my thoughts. And I was literally in the hospital talking to these people about the things that were going on in my head. And they kept asking me, was I trying to hurt myself? Or was I trying to kill anybody else? No, (laughs) no. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on up here, but I'm trying to figure out why I'm thinking the way that I'm thinking because I've never thought this way before. I'm trying to figure out why is my mind now in a different state of being that I've ever experienced in my life. But they were only worried about if I was trying to hurt myself or if I was trying to hurt somebody else. They never really asked what was wrong or what was going on. And because I could hear things and see things that I had never saw or heard before, it really, really impacted me on that day. Um, I came home and tried to sleep, but I couldn't sleep because... I was so afraid of closing my eyes and that being the last time that I was going to close my eyes. I was so afraid of being by myself. I was so afraid of so many things on this day last year. Oh, baby, but God had a different plan. God had a different plan path for me to take. God had a different destiny for Tiffany. 
he had a different place for me and this is why I fight so hard for people to gain a understanding and for people to understand your story helps somebody I want people to understand your mental health matters I want people to understand that you have to process through grief or grief will take your ass out of here. Grief will have you suppressing so much and being so numb and not facing the shit that's in front of you. That when you continue to suppress it at some point, that shit is going to boil over. And baby, when it does, it is not a feeling that you want to experience. If you don't want to cry, if you don't want to talk to your family, if you don't want to talk to anybody, find someone that you can confide in. Find someone that you can talk to. Find somebody that you're willing to just lay it all on the table with. Because baby, I'm telling you, if you don't, your world will come crashing down in front of your eyes. And then you are trying to dig yourself out of a hole where where the dirt is constantly falling back on you. It ain't going to help. It ain't going to work. So this day, last year. I was fighting for my sanity and what a difference a year makes, okay? People be talking about how 2019 was so fucking rough and how 2019 did so much to them. Uh Uh-uh. 2015, 16, 17, and 18 whooped my ass. I was glad to make it this far in 2019, okay? Y'all, I was... I was literally in my head fighting for my life, fighting for my sanity. Like, I think I didn't even realize how much that meant until yesterday. That it's been a whole year that I have been able to go to therapy sessions, that I've been able to process my thoughts, get back into a state of well or working my way to a state of well-being. I'm not going to say that I'm all the way there because there's a lot that I still need to process. There's a lot that I still need to work on. There's a lot that I still need to release. There's a lot I still need to let go, but baby, I am here. And that's what matters. Like, I'm here right now today being able to tell y'all that last year I was out here fighting for my sanity. So, I don't give no fucks about what nobody think about me crying. I don't give no fucks about nobody think giving it what they got to think about where I am. or the Or the shit that I post. Or the way that I feel. Because I know that there are so many people out here that feel the same way. But nobody is listening. That nobody wants to hear them. Nobody gives a fuck. Listen to me. If you are struggling mentally. If you are struggling emotionally. If you are struggling in any way fucking possible. And you need somebody to listen. You need somebody to talk to. You need somebody to give a fuck. I give a fuck. My inbox is open. I give my phone bu- phone number to any and every goddamn body who needs to have a conversation. Because I fucking care. Because I don't want anybody to ever have to experience going through what I went through. Um... So if you are out here, if you need somebody to talk to, even if it ain't me, or even if you just need a moment, or if you need just a fucking hug, 
I legit tell people my door to my home is always open. And that is the truth. That is, that's what it is. My door is always open. You can come over here and, and talk to me all you want to, or you can come over here and not talk at all. If you need a place to find some sanity, find some peace, find find a moment to just breathe. Hell, if you need a moment to just fart without nobody saying nothing about it, my door is open. I got spray and incense if you need it, okay? <laughs> but I just want you all to know that as you continue on this journey, as you continue on in life, Stop worrying about what the fuck other people think about your journey. It's yours. The way you want to live your life, the things that you want to do for yourself, the things that make you happy, the things that give you peace, go after them. Go the fuck after those things. Because if you don't, you'll regret it. If you don't, You'll forever be singing your shoulda, woulda, couldas. And I don't want that for anybody. Like, I don't want that for anybody. I don't want anybody to live a life that they're not happy with. And then they're on their deathbed and then they regret it. Especially when there's so much freedom in being who you are. And there's so much freedom in sharing your story. There's so much freedom in walking in your truth and walking in your light. And I'm still learning aspects of that. And I'm still learning how to do that. But the moment I started taking steps in order to do that for me, it gave me a totally different sense of freedom. And yeah, sometimes I'd be like, damn, I shouldn't have said that. Damn, I shouldn't have posted that. But the moments when I rethink or I think about the things that I shouldn't have posted is when most people find their peace. Or most people find a connection in my posts when I post those things that I think that I shouldn't have posted or shouldn't have said or I think about like damn let me go delete that but then there's comments saying I needed this today I needed to know this I needed to feel this thank you for your story thank you for your testimony so therefore I was I felt like I would have been keeping the world or somebody who saw this from their journey of healing if I didn't do this this morning so that's it y'all like i'm over here all snotty and stuff but i definitely needed to um share that this morning with somebody and i am a hundred percent being completely honest and open and i have no problem with sharing my story and i Again, if you need somebody to talk to, if you need somebody to just hug the fuck out of you, make your way to me. Whatever you need, however however much of a hug you feel you need, if you want to cuddle, come on. Because if that's what the fuck you need in order to gain your sanity or have some peace, I got you. It's hard to maintain your sanity and your peace when you're constantly in a state of going through when you're constantly in a state of trying to figure things out when you're constantly in a state of questioning yourself and who you are and where you are where you want to be and where you've where you've been it's a struggle to Adult, it's a struggle to live fully and wholly. It's a struggle to live out loud. And that's my goal every day is to live out loud. So that way somebody can see me living out loud and be inspired to do the same. 
So that's it, y'all. That's my testimony. Again, and I'll continue to say it if you need my phone number to talk, if you want to come by for a hug, if you want to come by just to have a sip of tea, a sip of coffee, if you need a meal, if you whatever you need and I can supply it. My inbox is always open and I'll gladly give you my phone number. Hell, I'm pretty sure my phone number is somewhere on social media, one of my business pages or whatever. My phone number is around. But if you want it, you can definitely inbox me. But always know and always understand that you are not alone in this journey. And I don't say that to just be cliche. I say that because that is me. I say that because that is true. I say that because everybody needs a person that is neutral and open and willing to accept them as they are. Not trying to change them. Not trying to make them be different. But accepting them for who they are where they are and loving them through their journey and if you can do that you truly 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 are a beacon of light to those around you so again if you need me I'm always here with arms wide the fuck open for you Okay. Um, but that's it. I don't know who needed this, but I needed to rejoice in the goodness of being here. I needed to rejoice in the goodness of the creator showing me who I am, whose I am, and that everything that was in me is needed. I'm sorry for the ugly cry. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry for the ugly cry. I'm not sorry for snotting. And I'm not sorry for the thick throat (laughs) sound. (laughs) I'm not sorry for none of this shit. Like, I'm rejoicing in being here after the shit I've been through over the last four years. Like, I'm legit rejoicing And the beauty that is my life. The the beautifully chaotic life of mine. I am rejoicing in that. Because everything that I've been through has allowed for me to be the person that I am today. And allowed for me to be who I'm supposed to be to the people that need me the most. So here I am. And if you ever, ever want some truth look inside yourself shine your fucking light I've only given you all about this much of my light but when I get to my next level of peace and truth baby my light about to blind the fuck out of a lot of y'all But a lot of y'all going to walk into that light and feel the warmth and embrace its beauty and embrace the ugliness and be mad because you got to squint to see. But I'm telling you, walk in your own truth, walk in your own light and you're in your own beauty because the world needs what you have. The world needs what I have. We're all here for a reason and to fulfill a purpose. And while we're here, if we are constantly worried about how the world views us when we are at our lowest and we're worried about how the world sees us when we're not our best, when we are worried about the world seeing us crying or seeing us posting how we are emotionally because we don't really know who's listening to us for real. Let that shit out. Let that shit be. And if they judge you, fuck them because they themselves are dealing with something that they are not willing to post, that they are not willing to share with the world. And there are so many 
beautiful parts in your ugly ass story. So let it be known. Let the ugly parts be your light. Not all that beautiful shit. Yeah, the beautiful shit is good. But tell the story of the ugly shit. Because your ugly shit is going to connect with somebody. Your ugly shit is going to make somebody be like, damn, at least I know I'm not out here by myself. So share your story. Tell your truth. Be as ugly as you need to be with the stories that you tell of your life. And I promise you, you're going to love yourself all the more for it. Hey, let me go get myself together for work. Go wash my face because I'm out here ugly crying and stuff. But uh, I hope y'all have a beautiful day. I really hope that this helps somebody. I really hope that if you need me, that you pull up and get a hug and find some peace and have a moment to release. Have a moment to lay on a couch where you don't have to put on and have a moment to just be in the state of yourself that you are currently in. Because so many times we all have to put on and we need a moment to be able to turn off from the world, to turn off from everything that's going on around us. We need to turn off from bills and all that other kind of shit. So if you need that moment, if you need that time, if you need to just get a hug or have a conversation, again, my inbox is open. I will give you my phone number. I will give you my address to come and enjoy that peace. All right. Um, I love y'all. If nobody has told you this morning, I love y'all. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you walk out here and let your light shine so bright that it blinds somebody on your way to work. But I also hope and pray that you shine your light so bright that it makes people want to walk into their own light. All right. I love y'all. Have a great day. Peace. Mwah.